Greetings everyone. It's time for another edition of Organizational Tips for New 5th Graders with Mr. Piper. Today's episode, how to organize your trapper keeper or case at binder. One thing you're going to notice when you travel from lower school to middle school is you no longer have a desk that you can put all of your supplies in. You can't put all your stuff in there anymore. It doesn't even open. Instead, behold, the trapper keeper or case at binder. This organizational tool will help you carry with you all the necessary materials for many of your core fifth grade classes. Behold, your pencil case, assignment notebook, your schedule, and perhaps even most importantly, folders for your papers to help keep all of the materials for your different subjects organized and neat. There's one for math, one for literature, and even one for social studies. Now, one thing that we want to caution fifth graders from doing is what I call the shove and chuck method. This is when students take the papers that their teacher gives them and simply either shove or chuck them into the binder. When you close the binder, they can sometimes hang out the top. This is bad. And the papers are not happy. They oftentimes get crinkled and are not neat. A better method is to simply take the handouts that your teacher gives you and place them neatly in the appropriate folder. Tuck them in so that they're nice and tight, and then shut your binder. That way, they are ready for you to help you learn whenever you need them. Remember, folks, that a clean trapper keeper or case it binder is a happy trapper keeper or case it binder. That's all for now. Hope you learned something new today.